first of all very good morning sir good morning uh, sir i'm really glad and appreciate like you have taken your time and effort for the interview process with college dunia thank you because sir uh, i'm very happy to so meet you and give this this small interview for you okay so sir can you please give me a brief introduction about yourself and then we'll start with the interview process so i am uh, dr rajendra prasad Uh, dean of uh, student affairs in sairam group of institutions so i am here for the uh, more than uh, 25 years yes i be here as a head of the department of mechanical then i served as the dean research and development then i will be there as a principal for our uh, sri sairam engineering college now i am taking care of the dean student affairs for the sairam group of institutions so i am very happy to uh, to interact with this especially for our uh, thing because it is a it goes to the input given to the students absolutely sir thank you so much for your lovely introduction uh, let me start with the interview process sir so sir what are the best practices you offered by the department to the students which help them gain necessary skills so two things uh, the our uh, group of institutions we are concentrating on that the first one is to be we introduce a system is called a mentoring system so generally the every institution having the mentoring system and counseling all those things but our uh, specialty in our institutions is from day one onwards for example an engineering student he is studying a four years of course for every 15 students so we allocate one faculty member with him from day one once he joined inside the institution yeah, it is a, he will take care about the academics is an extra curriculum activities uh, what type of skills he is having what is a required for him i think he can guide from the day one onwards to improve his uh, performance Uh, not only for the academic aspect with personality development also he will concentrate and take it that is the first aspect we are concentrating from that the second is to be so we are very particular about the uh, once we become an autonomous institution in 2020 so we thought that uh, we are upgrading our uh, our syllabus our curriculum but one of the major drawback what i seen in uh, all the institution is to be whatever is to be input given to the students it is not uh, the the latest technologies to the students because the industry is to be moving very fast but academic people they are giving in the slow manner so it may not be the students may not be placed directly in the industry they required in between some training like that so we keep it in that mind so in our institutions so at least one to one and a half years whatever the content is to be required for the industry we are collecting the input from the industrial experts because all of them are in our board of studies members they all of them are to be our academic council members then we are always we will interact with the different uh, specialized industries will collect the data based on that data so we will give the input to the students so once who are graduated from the sairam institutions they are ready for the industries that is one of the best thing the skill is to be developed by our students which is not there in our other institutions what i request the all the institutions also this is the one of the best method we have to follow That's great, sir. Yes. Sir, you hold the key position uh, at Saira College, right? Yes. And throughout your professional career yes. as well. So, what are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector? So, once again, I same thing. Maybe I may repeating that. Maybe I, I I already when I am giving my introduction speech. Maybe I will be there for 15 years as head of department. Then maybe uh, such R and D head. then as a vice principal principal now dean student affairs one of the major thing i observe is to be uh, that may be there is a lot of change in the 
students for past three decades because I seen three decades of the students. Now the technology, the content available to the students is to be immediately is available because a lot of internet facilities because 20 years back we want to search in a journal you have to wait for nearly six months to get paper when I am doing my PhD work on these things. Now in a on a table you can sit and you can gather the, all the informations. That may be one maybe one of the positive thing because uh, the technology development is to be used a lot of positive things. There may be possibility of because of the development of technology, there may be now chat GPT is introduced, then a lot of usage of uh, cell phone. Uh, people are spending around 50 to 60 percent of their uh, daily uh, time will be spent for the cell phone. It may be done by positive manner, which, which gives the benefit for us. If they are not doing properly, it will affect the, the young minds and it leads to a lot of problems. So with that intention, we are also thought that instead of uh, there is a technology, what uh, the industries are doing is once a student completes the four years of course, then the students are to be trained for one or two years, then they become the, an employee in that particular industry. Now our institution is taken, many industrial people we brought it, they are incorporated center of excellence. For example, you take HCL, we are having a center of excellence inside our campus. Delphi TVS, we are having a center of excellence inside our campus. Then now we are also Indotech Transformers, this is one of the uh, popular industry, the transformer manufacturing. They are here, they put it. They introduced some courses, one or two elective courses to the our students. They are trained for the uh, two semesters and then they become the automatic input for the students. So it will be, uh, it, is, it is one of the best practice or best method uh, the, uh, they can do what uh, they we also felt very bad in the uh, maybe one decade or two decade back. Now we are very much happy. I think these techniques, what I request the, all the engineering college professors and engineering college management, you can concentrate on that and you can do it this automatically. If whatever a core department or a service department, all our students may be placed in very good industry. Maybe at least uh, five to 10% of students, they become an entrepreneurs maybe 5 to 10 percent of students they go for higher education this is our structure is there in our thing so i am very happy to uh, after implementing so we are enjoying uh, from that i request the people i think you can also try with this uh, method i think and surely we will be success with my experience i am sharing all of you thank you thank you so much for your valuable time sir thank you thank you, thank you.